Okay, so I'm going to duplicate this track. And I'm going to go to the base here, and I'm going to do some parallel compression. So actually, I wanted to duplicate everything. So duplicate track complete. There we go. Go back to the mixer. And there's the base. It's going to the base. All right. This is the one I just duplicated. I'm going to try and use the decapitator. Nice. It added gain. That's okay. I'll fix it right now. really like that well let's blend it in see if it made any difference now with parallel compression It'll sound ugly right here when it's uh, the tracks are soloed, but once you put them in the mix, that's where you're really able to taste the change that you did. So let's check it out in the mix. I don't know if you can hear it, but check it out. Mute it. Definitely added a little bit of gain um, there, adding that track there. Now my needle, it's at zero VU right now, so that's great. Remember, that was my target at the beginning. You can say all you want, but it worked. All right, there's still some work to be done, but when I was first mixing, when I first started, I recorded a reference mix with no plugins, no processing, just the rough so I could have something to compare my mix against. And I know someone was saying it's nice to be able to hear what you've done from the time you started to where you are right now. So let's check it out. So this is the rough mix. And I'm gonna make sure I, I bring up the gain to match zero, just like my mix. So that it's a fair comparison, here we go. So that's at zero there and the needle's hovering because there's not a lot of compression. Obviously there's more compression on my mix right now. Okay, my mix. Okay, I'll bring this mix down a little bit.
Now I'm going to check my mix in different volumes. I'm going to start with really low volume on my speakers just for myself. My guitars need a little bit of work. I need to find a way to make them sound fat, bigger, and wider. The problem is, and it's, it's not really a problem, they were recorded live. So while they were recorded really well, there's still, still a bit of tone that's missing from the original guitars. So I'm really trying to shape the tone here on my own. I'm sure live they sounded amazing, but recorded, it's okay. Not the greatest, but not the worst. So Rui, don't get mad at me. Uh, the Pantera guitars obviously sound big, sounds like they were recorded in a studio, uh, really nice, check it out. Yeah, so the, the guitars here on this mix, obviously they were recorded live with a room full of people. Maybe if I back up on the high pass filter. Yeah, I don't want to do that because that's going to make them muddy. Right now the mix is a little muddy, so I need to do some final tweaks with EQ, and I'm sure I can make it sound better. Let's hear all the elements of the mix. Uh, looks like the drums are clipping a little. I'll have to fix that. So I'm going to mute all of the stems. All right, and I'm going to listen to them one at a time. The kick's a little bit boomy right now.
All right, so I think it's getting better. It does sound good. There's some clips. Oh no, that's not clipping. What is this? Maybe it is. Good, I'm happy there. Once we put some automation, uh, once we do some final tweaks, maybe to the stems and maybe the mix bus, then I think we're gonna have a really good mix in our hands. Again, guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Like, subscribe, and share. Thank you so much for all you do. All the best.